Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. 40 ish, not a dollar range. Most of these, way less than that. Good number of these you find at your local rack stores, like the one I'm talking about today. You see at the rack store often for very inexpensive. It's a 1975 release, an amber woody or a woody amber, something like that. And uh, I'm talking about the original Jeffrey Bean gray flannel. If I can get the glare, there we go. Yep, you see this thing there all the time. Uh, it comes uh, in like a little pouch thing. The bottle's actually quite light. You would think that like something like this would be like a heavier bottle, but it's really not. It's it's pretty thin glass. The atomizer, <laughs> atomizer lid is pretty snug. I mean, especially for being so light. Um, you can pick it up. I don't recommend it ever, but you can pick it up from the atomizer lid. And the atomizer itself, it's a little bit less than average as far as the distribution, how much comes out, but it's a nice wide spray with, you know, fine mist. So, are the fragrances loud? That's all you need. I'm gonna go over some of the notes with you guys, just some of them, and let you know what I think about this fragrance as a whole. So there's a lot of bitter citruses up top. That's basically what it is, is the, the bergamot and lemon and stuff like that. It's the bitter citruses with pedigree, which is the citrus leaf, which is, uh, <clears throat> it's a very green bitter type of a, of, a, of a scent profile. It's actually quite nice. I like pedigree. I like when it's used in different fragrances. Also, there's a ton of flowers in this thing. I'm not gonna name them all, but there's just a whole bunch of them. There's also like oak moss and wood. But as a whole, what you're gonna get from this thing is a very, very loud, sharp, not synthetic harsh, but harsh type of a masculine, super masculine, old school smelling fragrance. This thing was launched in 1975, and this thing was not beyond its time when they came out with this, because it smells like, like 1975 in a bottle or something. It is a very mature smelling fragrance. This is something that is not a blind buy fragrance, even though it's only $10, because there is a very good chance that you are not gonna like this fragrance. It is extremely old man, loud smelling type of a thing. Do I like it? <laughs> I just don't, I just can't, I try. I can appreciate it, you know. It's easy for me to appreciate fragrances. There's a lot of reviewers that really like this thing. They really like it. Now, if you do like it, the occasions to wear this thing are not gonna be in the high heat. It's gonna be basically any other time of year just because it's so loud, it's just not gonna go over so well in the high heat. Like if you're out playing basketball or something, this is not what you would wanna spray on. Um, <clears throat> there's nobody that's probably under like 40 years old that's gonna like this thing more than likely. It's just one of those fragrances and you kinda gotta know what you're getting into with this. If you're into different fragrances like Jovan Musk and, and things like that and you really love that kind of smell, then you might like this. This might be your cup of tea. But for me, this is just not. Performance is stellar on this little thing. It's, you know, a seven, eight plus hour fragrance. Uh, projection extremely loud very this is a room filler after like two sprays and um, overall rating I'll give it a three just because it has such great performance some of y'all might crucify me some of y'all might really like this thing but I'm pretty sure that most of the people that uh, watch my channel probably are not the biggest fan of this fragrance like I am again I can appreciate it but it's just not my cup of tea you can pass on this if you're not into extremely mature, extremely loud fragrances. Just this ain't a freshie, this is not a mass pleaser, it's not a compliment getting type of fragrance. That's just not what this is. You just buy this because you just particularly like the way that this kind of thing smells. So that's my final thoughts on Jeffrey Bean's Gray Flannel. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.